Welcome back everyone. Today I'm reviewing the Ashton Cigar San Cristobal Elegancia. These are made by Don Pepin Garcia for the Ashton Cigar Company. 7 by 50 Nice density there. Triple capped and it should be easy to see even under these lights. One thing you'll notice about this cigar immediately is the Connecticut Shade Wrapper. This is Ecuadorian Connecticut. And everything else about it is Nicaraguan. Several years ago, Ashton came out with the original San Cristobal line and it was a great success. So they decided to come out with this newer version with the Connecticut Wrapper. So let's give it a try. See what it's about. All right, let's get started. Effortless draw. A lot of woody notes right up front. <laughs> nice and even. Peppery. A lot of wood and coffee notes right up front, mostly wood. So let's let it sit for a minute and come right back to it once it settles down. This is the San Cristobal Elegancia Churchill. Well, as you can see, we're about a half inch in, and the flavors have settled down into grapefruit, citrus, slightly sweet, wood, and coffee. Uh, pepper is very nice, as you would expect from a pepin cigar. The finish is a little bit of a vanilla flavor right now and some lingering pepper, and you can feel it on your back of the palate. So uh, that's how it's starting. It is quite light in feel. So I do believe this is going to be a light cigar, especially with the Connecticut wrapper, but I'm hoping for good flavors, and so far they're starting out nice. So... That's where we'll stand at the beginning, the first initial flavors of the San Cristobal Elegancia Churchill. A little past the one inch point and the flavors have changed a bit. The grapefruit citrus, as I term it, has really changed now to more of a uh, sweet cedar and vanilla. And there's a little coffee base. Uh, the pepper is decent. It's not as peppery as you would expect from pepin, but um, it is good. The finish is a more of a creamier vanilla right now. It's quite sweet and that lingering pepper. So it has changed a little bit and that is probably more how it, I expect it to stay, but we'll see. As you can see, the ash is quite tight and salt and pepper in color. So the uh, uh, Elegancia has made a little change up front. Nice sweet notes, not overly sweet. Some richness trying to develop, but not a lot. So uh, it is still light. This is a uh, fairly mild cigar at this point. As we finish the first third, the cedar notes are quite prominent. Vanilla accentuates it. There is that coffee and some wood, wood notes still come around. 
The uh, pepper is still decent. It's very good. Below average for a papine, but good. The finish is a creamy vanilla. And some of those wood notes carry over to the finish. And the pepper is somewhat lingering also. Um, cigar is going along nicely. Still what I would call mild. Uh, maybe working its way to mild to medium. But it's still quite mild. So uh, if you're used to the original San Cristobal, this is an entirely different animal. So expect it to be milder, much milder. Um, not much else to say. First third is in the books. Well into the second third and the cedar notes are a little richer. Uh, which is nice. The sweetness is still there, but they're just richer. The vanilla notes are sort of wane, and the uh, uh, coffee and wood notes are still there at the bottom. The uh, Everything else is about the same, but that additional sweetness and richness in the cedar notes really make it a lot more enjoyable, and it has also moved into the medium-bodied range at this point. So there we have it for the beginning, or well into the second third, approaching the band. Finishing up the second third, the cedar notes are still there, there so a richness to them and uh, sweetness. The uh, coffee notes and wood notes bottom it out. Pepper is still decent. The only big change is the finish now has some of those cedar notes creeping over combining with the vanilla. So that was a nice change. The cigar is medium body and I don't see that improving. The uh, burn has been quite good and uh, we'll be moving into the final third and depending on how things change could be back to wrap it up here soon. here at the end of the cigar so let's wrap it up the cedar notes really came out at the end the coffee notes really came out at the end the wood pretty much disappeared the finish is still one of cedar and vanilla and some lingering pepper the pepper was pretty good on the front end also this cigar was mild um, to be honest with you a little too mild for me it has some nice flavor but it is quite mild it ended up medium and uh, didn't have a lot of changes and the richness could have been a little more for me. Uh, there was some richness with the cedar, but it could have been much more. Uh, I enjoyed the cigar, but uh, I tried not to compare it to the original San Cristobal, but it's hard not to, but you try to distinguish the two. This cigar is just plain out mild uh, to medium and it more than one being medium body. Compared to the original San Cristobal, it is mild. But the flavors were nice. It, it, it fell short with me, though. Uh, a lot of upper line cigar companies have gone to uh, trying a, Connect a Connecticut version of a cigar lately, and this one fell a little short with me. So for that reason, I'm giving it an 87. Uh, it was an enjoyable cigar, but it just fell a little short. So there you have it. San Cristobal Elegancia Churchill, 87.